Hello everyone, this is Victor Thompson. I listen to his music a lot because it just puts me in the presence of the Lord, like immediately. Thank you, Father God. I stand in Hello everyone, my name is Kashia Sharice and I am coming on today just to put a thought on your mind. You know, I've been thinking a lot about the things that I do, what I say, how I interact with people. Do you realize that when you speak to a person, when you interact with a person, you can turn their day, their attitude, their mind, thought pattern. You can change it by how you show up, right? And I was thinking about that. And I was thinking about that, especially during this weekend, because I was, or this week, because I was around family. And even though we were meeting under unfortunate circumstances, I just realized that I need to show up and walk in my authority wherever I go. What does that mean, walking in your authority? It means being authentically who God sent you here to be, not who you trying to be, not who you see on TV that you trying to emulate or in the entertainment business who you're trying to be like is who God sent you here to be. And I, and I feel like when we're sent here, we're, we're delivered into such evil that it tries to wipe away what God has sent. But how do we get back to that? We have to be able to have time for God. We have to be able to develop a relationship with God. We have to be able to ha have that special time that we devote to God. We have to have that love for God, also that fear because he ain't playing. And I can say within the last couple of months, I have gotten in the presence of God to the point where I just love being in the presence of God. If I could do that all day and not have to worry about anything else, that's what I would do. I do have responsibilities as being a wife, as being a mother, as also providing as a business owner, right? However, if I was able to be in the presence of God for hours without interruption, I would. It's just beautiful. It just puts me at peace. My heart just beats so strongly. You know, a lot of people say, people, when they get older, that's when they start, you know, being more in tune with God and loving God. But I beg to differ because I've been like this since I was a child. I've been seeking God since I was a child. I've been loving God 
and acknowledging Jesus for dying on that cross since I was little. It didn't take me until now. I've been doing it since I was little. I've always been this joyful person. I've always been this loving person. That was just something that was within me that I was sent with. And it took me not letting it be compromised. And at times, it did sway to the left and sway to the right. But I always got back in alignment. Love is powerful. It's so powerful that it can change a person's heart from cold to love. And how you treat a person affects them for many years. Instead of putting hate, doubt, criticism into them, try putting love and see how that outcome comes. Because I've done it for many years. I've given love to people I didn't even know. People I walk past on the street, people I'm in the grocery store with, I give love. And to see them light up. To see them be so happy and joyous just to get a high, or just to get a smile, or just to get a hug, or just to get encouragement, that's is what touches me. I don't do it for the likes. I don't do it for recognition or acknowledgement that I'm doing it. I do it because I genuinely love people, God's people. And I genuinely want them to turn from their evil ways and make it to heaven. Because heaven is beautiful. Heaven is amazing. And to be in the presence of God all the time is beyond what our mind can imagine. The light, that light. I mean, there's times where even I have to stop myself from the words that come from my mouth, from, would you say, gossiping? Because I found myself this weekend bringing up a situation, but it was felt gossipy, right? And I had to repent for that and ask for forgiveness. I have to stop myself sometimes and say, don't put your mouth on people. Don't spew it in a negative way. Watch the words that come out your mouth. If God was before you, would you be cursing? Would you be gossiping? Would you be lying? Would you be putting your mouth on people? If God was before you, would you do that? Would you? And we have to be aware of that as we're in the presence of people. You never know who someone is. You never know why God sent them. You never know why they're in your presence. So be careful, be mindful of the words that come out your mouth. Because God is watching. I just wanted to put that on your minds today. As you go out into this world, that God is watching what you say. He's watching what you're looking at. He's watching what you're hearing. He's watching what you're thinking. He's watching what's in your heart. He's watching your posture. He's watching how you're walking. He's watching. Be mindful. Because there's many that's leaving this earth like that. With no announcement. They don't know. 
They don't even know that they're about to leave this earth. But you that are the bright lights, that shining bright, the messengers that's out here giving God's message, you have the duty to speak into their life right now and let them know the goodness of the Lord and know, let them know the kingdom is at hand. Let them know to change, to turn from their evil ways now. Do the repentance prayer with them. Invite Jesus into their life now. You don't have to be in church. You can be on that street corner as they recite the Lord's Prayer. As they invite Jesus into their heart. As they accept Jesus and the love of God. You don't have to be in the church because sometimes you won't be in the church. Sometimes you'll be walking down the street. Sometimes you'll be in the grocery store. Sometimes you'll be in the school, <clears throat> at work, at the pool, at the park. And even some of you that's in the clubs, for whatever reason, you'll be there giving someone and showing someone God's love. And speaking into them so they can change now because that may be their last day on this earth. And if you were in their presence, what did you do to affect their soul? Was it positive or was it negative? So as I leave with these words, think, feel, love as you go out into the world today affect someone's soul to the point where they turn from their evil ways and they turn towards God we are only here for a short time and God shall return in a short time so let's be ready and let's get people ready because we are the key to them getting ready and preparing for God's return. I love you all.